Hello everybody, Rene again from the Iceberg Software. Uh, the, your problem solver for connecting different systems together, visualize and optimize your smarter homes and buildings. And today I just want to show you in a couple of minutes, so it's a very short video, but I just want to show you how easy it really is to connect different uh, systems with each other by just purely drag and drop. So today I want to show you how to connect the KNX world to the BACnet world and even the Modbus world and make a multi-protocol gateway in no time. So as you can see here, I just want to change our page and go to an empty page which we have built in here, our software, which you can create easily by just adding a new page. And then you just choose the driver you want to connect to each other. So our internal data framework is actually able to connect different systems together easily by drag and drop with not really knowing what is happening in the different worlds. So you don't have to have an insight into BACnet or into Modbus or into Canix. Of course, you have to do some physical settings. So how do you want to connect? Is it Modbus TCP? Is it a BACnet server or client? And KNX, do you have a USB interface? But I want to disregard this today. I'll show this to you in a different video uh, in, in this series. But today, I just want to show you how easy it is to connect in a couple of minutes to uh, three different systems together and create a multi-protocol gateway. So first of all, we take some drivers, which you find out of the library. And you see that we have over 40 different uh, drivers in our system. So we use a KNX driver. We drag and drop it from the list to establish an instant of these drivers in our project. And then we have in KNX, you just browse here in the properties, you browse to your exported project file. Means you just grabbing from the uh, ETS, your export file, you click import, and you will have actually all the data points imported. <clears throat> here you can see actually that we not only importing group addresses, we're actually looking at to central group addresses on the different objects as well and re-import them with the actual group address. And we also set the sending group address to the sending group address in our software. And we listen on the same, as you can see here, we listen to um, global commands on these objects as well. So then we do have here in the driver data points, we do have the group addresses ready. So you can go in here and you find your structure you set up actually in your ETS project. So that's the first step. Now we want to do actually a BACnet server and provide our data points per BACnet into uh, BMS systems, for instance. So a standard uh, export and import file is an EDE file in BACnet. So you can actually grab a BACnet driver and you go into the channels. You say here, import EDE file. You browse to an EDE file provided or you establish it yourself. You import the data points and now you do have the um, connecting data points in, in the BACnet world ready to connect. So, and now you find actually your imported data points in here. We highlight the BACnet driver and you find your data points here in the dynamic folder. We do have a separation here between uh, analog values, analog binary inputs, um, analog inputs, and so on, what the backend world holds for you. And now it's just drag and drop. So you open up the data points you want to connect to in BACnet. You go into your right window, choose driver data points, choose here the KNX connections, sort by group addresses, and then you just find the right group address you want to connect. And then you grab the group address out of this list, drag and drop it onto the switch object, connect it, and you see here that the backnet component is connected to these group addresses. We do have three more, so we would just choose them. One is a dimming value, so we just choose a one byte value here, drag and drop. And then we do have a color temperature, so that is actually somewhere um, in here. So we grab a value out of here, drag it onto the data point, and now you do have a KNX to BACnet gateway established already. The only thing you have to do is the physical settings in the KNX, which is done in the driver settings. 
So you can use, you see here, a USB interface, a routing interface or a tunnel. You set that and the CanX driver is ready to go. You set the MacNet, the local IP address of the network card you want to use in, uh, on your server and you're ready to go. And you can keep going like this. I just want to show you that with Modbus, for instance, you grab a Modbus driver out of the list. You import. If you uh, have a list of registers already, you can import it or you can add uh, a few channels. So you can also go and import a Modbus file here. You get the channels into it. And then you can dra grab just the actual group addresses, what we just choose out of the CanX world as well. Choose the CanX, sort by group address, go to your group address, put it onto the uh, respective data points. So that's the value. And then we do have here the uh, actual and now you do have a multiple gateway, a multi-protocol gateway actually from KNX to BACnet into the Modbus world as well. And now you can actually keep going because the internal data point structure we've got in ISBIR is actually enabling you to just link these uh, things together. So you can actually do that with every type of uh, driver we have in here, which is at the moment over 40 different system drivers and you can connect them easily together. So if you want to see more, then stay tuned in this channel or check out our website on www.busbear.de and there you find a download for the software as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.